the most powerful women in tech. Angela Arendt, SVP of Retail and Online Stores at Apple. It's unclear how much she'll make at Apple, but the company has awarded her $76 million in stock. We can expect Aaron's annual compensation to be in the $2 million to $3 million range. Renee James, President of Intel Renee James became President of Intel in May of 2013, instantly becoming one of the most powerful women in business and technology. Her total compensation in 2013 was over $15 million and that was before she became president. Susan Wojcicki, CEO of YouTube. Sergey Brin and Larry Page rented her Menlo Park garage for $1,700 a month and used it as Google's first office. While we don't know exactly how much Wojcicki made at Google as one of the earliest employees, she's likely worth multiple hundreds of millions. Ursula Burns, Chairwoman and CEO of Xerox. She started out as an intern in 1980. By July of 2009, she had worked her way up to the company's top job, becoming the very first African-American woman to lead a Fortune 500 company. Her total compensation last year was over $7.5 million, according to the SEC. Safra Katz, President and CFO of Oracle. Safra Katz became an Oracle exec in 1999 and has since then worked her way up to the company's number two job. In 2013, she earned over $44 million primarily in stock and options according to the SEC. Virginia Ginny Romady, CEO of IBM. Romady began working at IBM at age 24 in 1981 as a systems engineer. Her total compensation for last year was $16.1 million. Marissa Mayer, CEO of Yahoo. Marissa Mayer was the 20th employee at Google. She became CEO of Yahoo in July 2012. At Google, she helped develop the tools such as Google News and Gmail. VentureBeat estimates Mayer's net worth at $300 million. Meg Whitman, CEO of Hewlett Packard. Meg Whitman, who made her fortune at eBay before becoming CEO of HP in 2011, is the wealthiest woman in tech. She's reportedly worth $1.9 billion.